All right, kids, it's been 20 years now since Jay-Z gave us the blueprint, one of my absolute favorite rap albums. And I have to admit that at least part of this is because the blueprint dropped during a really meaningful time for me, the summer I graduated from high school, and it submitted the production career of one Kanye West. So all of this nostalgia got me listening to Jay-Z again, and what I've heard serves as a reminder and further lets me know that he is the greatest rapper of all time. Ranking rappers and MCs is such a part of black culture that it is customary to randomly ask or be asked to name your top five rappers of all time. And it is a reasonable expectation to have that answer readily available. My top five is Jay, Nas, Scarface, Rakim, and then I might let Biggie get in there. My six man is LL Cool J. Before the show! There's a lot of ways one can respond and come up with the greatest of all time. Not your GOAT or their GOAT, THE GOAT. Jay-Z himself said that ain't no other rapper's been this good for this long in a song called What More Can I Say, which is what we're going to talk about today. But even the likes of MTV use a brain trust to come up with the top 10 of all time, judging rappers on the grounds of their artistic execution, commercial success, cultural impact digital metrics, buzz, and other intangibles. And Jay-Z has these things in spades. And sure, he's not the only rapper who boasts all of this, but what sets Jay-Z apart is how he responded to adversity. If there was any pitfall in Jay's career, other than losing to Nas in a battle, you know, the truest essence of hip hop, it was people telling Jay-Z to stop biting Biggie's rhymes. Videos like the one I just played shows the numerous times Jay-Z has done this, and fans know, I mean, I was aware of it too, but Biggie Smalls is another all-time great rapper. The greatest rapper to many, Jay-Z's friend, who's also from Brooklyn, and they rhymed together until Big died in 1995. Well, on the Black Album CD, song number three, what more can I say was supposed to be Jay's final word on his career in what was supposed to be his final record. It was produced by the Buchanans and leads with a sample from the movie Gladiator. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? When a beat drops, you immediately get a sample of Something for Nothing by MFSB. Now, Something for Nothing was also sampled by Tracy Lee in his song, Keep Your Hands High, featuring the late, great, Notorious Big. The rings and things you sing about, bring them out. It's hard to yell when the barrel's in your mouth. Keep this in mind for later. On the first verse of What More Can I Say, Jay took the opportunity to let the world know that he not only writes his own rhymes, but those of other people. And he is just quoting Big's verses to keep his friend, his brother, and his music, along with their burrow, alive in doing so. Then, to follow that up, Jay-Z proceeds to do the very thing he just addressed and was criticized for. He went on to bite another one of Biggie's rhymes. This time, not just any rhyme, one that Big used on Keep Your Hands High, which samples something for nothing, like what more can I say? Jay-Z's strength was what others saw as a weakness, because he clearly knew Biggie's rhymes, and he would have had to have foreknowledge to recognize the sample, in addition to being aware of people critiquing his lyrical ability to pull this off. Let's not skim over the fact that Jay used the first eight bars to set this whole thing up, to describe how his flow is so foolish that other people bite it. Two things that critics don't mention is that after this, Jay-Z stops quoting Big and how many rappers quote Jay-Z now? These are artists and songs that sample What More Can I Say alone. That's it. I just needed one verse and one song, which is just one example of why Jay-Z is the greatest of all time. Oh, and he did retire in 2004 after the Black Album, then came back a few years later, dropped five more solo albums. I should add that in his entire career, which spans 25 years, as extensive as it is, Jay-Z never put out a bad album. He put out some stuff that wasn't as good as his other work, I mean, see, Volume 1 and Kingdom Come, but they weren't bad. Bringing this whole thing back around, not that Chris Rock is an expert or authority in the matter, 
But I totally agree with what he said about Jay Z. No, no Jay Z in your top fives anymore. That's that's the new rule. No more Jay Z. He's, he's over it. He's he, 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 to compare him to. It's it's you can't even compare him. He's beyond the list at this. He's point. He's beyond the list. When we wow. first started doing our hottest MCs, he's I'm not going. on Mount Rushmore. He's yeah. the Washington Monument. Recently, Jay Z had verses on Drake's and Kanye's latest projects. Drake referred to Jay as the goat, and don't forget. Kanye made a song about Jay. As accomplished as Jay-Z is, when he names his personal top five, he takes time to acknowledge the greats that came before him. He names the achievements of his contemporaries, challengers, and peers, and he inspires the next generation. But no matter who your favorite rapper is, when they came out and who you think is the best, they won't be better than Jay-Z. What more can I say? We're going to be all right.